I also should have tried lightning. I could have given him a really good idea on how to wet in a light bulb. It would have worked. He would have been so distracted with ideas of inventing light bulbs, he never would have attacked me. I can't support that one, because all that's going to happen is the kite is going to end up strangling me. Sorry, Robin. I'm getting bread? That's not the same thing. Do you think... If you, if I say, hey, can I get some bread and you hand me a bagel, I'll stare at you like you're an idiot. It may be bread, but also go fuck yourself. Yes, I know, I'm poor, and... Wait, this is the wrong ladder, Amori. I was talking about the ladder east of the stump. First you go up, I mean, north from the playground until you see our stump. Then you make a right turn from there and keep walking until you see it. Oh, at least I'm pretty sure that's how you get there. Sorry, it's been a... It's pretty vast forest. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there's unique dialogue for that. That's neat. All right. <laughs> you get back to me kicking the crap out of a rabbit. <laughs> ah, welcome back. As a reminder, this is not my fault. They're attacking me. They killed my friends first. They killed my friend's friends. I didn't know Leaf, but my friend knew Leaf, and that was enough for me. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Amori. In the last episode, we died multiple times, and in this one, I, I realized this was over here, and it's just a floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Hell yeah. Alright, so... I obviously can't do anything with this yet, but later on we can. I don't have anything to throw. Later on. Running around at the speed of sound. I know my thing I got to follow my rainbow. I'm gonna gotta keep moving on. No lies ahead. What lies ahead? Only one way to find out. Alright. Finally. Let's move on. We're finally climbing up the ladder. Man, I know there's a reason- Okay, I read this, yep. Let's go find Pluto. That is the goal, right? To find Pluto? Also Basil, I guess, but Pluto? Wait, hold up, guys. Shoot. Where is he? I just had him. Where's who? Hector, my pet rock. I swear I just had him in my pocket. No! Hector! He must have fallen in my pocket when I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Hector. I should have been more careful. What's the big deal? It's just a rock, right? Don't you dare say that. He's not just a rock. He's family. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up soon, Cal. Rob boy. I sure hope so. Wait for me, Hector. I'll find you. I promise. Remember last episode where I said Hector and Kel were the OTP and then I would climb up the next screen and we lose him? Just a second, I want to see if I can get Hector back. It's important. Ignore how long this is going to take just for a fucking item that does not help. A regular rock. Hector? Here? Anyone see a rock with a face on it? Yo yo. Yeah, I don't know where Hector is. Well, back up we go. Lobby Hector Lobbert. I'm gonna change my sitting position again. 
The only way that's comfortable for more than like 20 minutes at a time is not good for recording, so. Was that? Was that a space snake? Did this just become a side scroller? Nope. Apparently not. First. How did you get first? You Whatever. <laughs> Y'all melons, hell yeah. <sighs> the ladder. It just never ends. <laughs> That's one small step for Kel and one large step for Kelkind. That's not how it goes. You don't get to decide how it goes. You weren't here first. Wait, hold on. Is that my butt certificate? Take that thing down right now. What if somebody sees it? No way, look at this thing fluttering in the wind. So majestic, so beautiful. <laughs> Hero, do something. Sack. Gash. Gashing my breath. Actually, give me a minute. Never mind. So majestic, so beautiful. Play the. Pl fly the butt certificate in. After what? Something field? Other world field? I don't know what it said. They conquered the moon, whoa. Aubrey's butt certificate, so majestic, so beautiful. Cheap Mrs. Parrot says other world campsite is up there. Cheap, cheap, and cattail field. Is okay, so what's cattail field? Uh, what's going on with the campsite? Other world. Durgan. They have cars on the moon? Hell yeah. Gumball. Happy! Welcome to Otherworld, an unofficial pit stop for weary space travelers at a popular family-friendly camping ground. Ah, uh, don't you just love the smell of firewood, and the sound of running water, and the crisp space breeze? It all makes the vast emptiness of space a little more bearable, don't you think? Mary's Picnic Basket. I would like to save. Holy shit, Delta Rune Chapter 3 in the bottom right. Did you mean the... the TV? I don't know what you're talking about. Some lovely, some lovely space tube food. Sure. Ba -ba 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 -bum. You and your friends feel like new. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a space pirate, and I'm gonna travel all around the universe. Our search for Basil has really taken up. All of us pretty far from home. If traveling the universe is what you want, you can definitely have a head start. I wonder what kind of friends we'll meet, what foes we'll face. It's an epic journey to end all journeys. You're way too carefree about this, Kel. Did you forget we're looking for Basil? Remember? Our dear friend Basil who needs us? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just trying to be positive. I have complete faith that we'll save him. Besides, the heroes always win. Is that right, hero? <laughs> Very funny, Kel. Alright. 
so many humans today. You guys are always such big fans of space travel. A vending machine. Buy a tasty soda for 100 clams? Nah. It's a transportation station. It doesn't seem to be in service. Well, I don't believe I can get over there, so I can't check out that TV. Maybe later. Yes, yes, hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Okay, 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 okay. So, it's different than before. S'mores is 50. We know what a cherry soda is. We know what a banana smoothie, rubber band, sparkler. Inflicts happy on a friend or foe. Little fires. Nice. And we know what life jam is. It's extremely useful, is what it is. I mean, you know, I don't appreciate window shoppers. This guy looks pretty intimidating. Do you want to disturb him? It worked out perfectly last time. Oh, it's Pluto! I never did the strat I meant to do. Alright, whatever. Well, uh, might as well see how this goes. Jax. Headbutt. Annoy. And... I guess, rubber band. I'm gonna head punch. I'm gonna head punch. I'm a head punch. Okay, not that bad. Now. Attack you. Headbutt you. Rebound. And then. Hook. Arm down. Oh no. Um. Realistically speaking, I'm gonna need him back. Like, right now. Okay, I hit him right in the heart of his arm. I think what the best thing to do here would be. And Mori won't die. They would never take down a Mori. Ow. It's 
So I guess I just keep healing with the other two. What is show of force? He expands? Oh, that's not good. All stats up. Ow. Shut the fuck up, Krim. <laughs> if Gabe's getting a pounding to this guy, he's not gonna like what Uranus has in store for him. That's fair. Fuck off, though. Um... Alright, we've got this now. I didn't mean to do that. I thought it'd be... I forgot I was attacking with him. Alright, attack again. No, we didn't mean it. Party was victorious. 451 XP, 285 clams. Go to level 6. Level 6. And learn counter. Level 6. Level 6. Bad. Wahaha! Wow. Defeated? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Okay. Whatever that was about. Whatever. Good XP. Yes, that is a door in the dinosaur, and that's where I'm going next. I'm small, the world's small centaur. Look at all my awards. Widow a centaur, first place. Mini a centaur, first place. Small centaur, first place. Widow a centaur, first place. Widow a centaur, first place. Idiot Bidia Centaur, first place. Most horse, second place. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's that's comedy. Glad to see there's so much on TV. I bet. It smells like a farm. Bookcase, it's a little dusty. It's a dust bunny. Perish. Dust family. It is bread. 36 XP, 5 clams, and most importantly, I uh, no item. It's a little dusty. Okay. I was hoping for items. I see bookcase, I hope. Ah oh, crap, I forgot my camera at home. What a good camp what's a good camping trip if I can't take any pictures? Hey, Mr. Ducky. Sorry to bother you, but have you seen my son anywhere? 
He walked away for less than we walked away for less than a second. He's gone and ran off again. Could you keep an eye on out for me? You'll know when you see him. He looks just like me. Ha <laughs> ha. Junior just doesn't know how to stay put. All he wants to do is go outside. Happy family. A bookcase filled with DVDs. The family records everything. Um, whatever. They all sleep together? An extra wide bed. Perfect, perfect for a family of three. Now that'd be neat. This place used to be a pristine wildlife preserve, but due to a recent boom in tourism, it started to accumulate a lot of trash. Pick up your trash, people. It's not that hard. That's absolutely fair. Ah, you're trapped. You're never escaping now. Hi, I'm Pessy, and you should probably... As you probably noticed, I love Sweetheart. I get every piece of merchandise she's ever released. I get Sweetheart posters, figures, stickers, shirts, her entire discography, and anything else you can think of. I'm certain you will find a more thorough collection anywhere else in the world. Calling me a super fan is an understatement. I am the ultimate fan. Let me tell you about the time I almost met Sweetheart. We just happened to be eating at the same restaurant. It was fate, I think. We ordered the same meal, too. Not like I totally saw what she ordered and copied her or anything. I even tried to pay for her meal, but I had just bought a newly released Sweetheart life-size statue the day early and couldn't afford to. Which I guess ended up being a good thing, since that girl turned out to be some regular girl wearing a costume that kind of looked like Sweethearts anyway. Not like I couldn't tell in the first place. Only a poser fan would ever make a regular person mistake a regular person for Sweetheart. Speaking hard. A statue made from the likeness of an obnoxious looking person. A bookcase full of books of an obnoxious looking person. A painting of an obnoxious looking person. A surprisingly normal bed. A very obnoxious sounding song is playing from this boombox. A bookcase full of books of an obnoxious looking person. An ordinary houseplant. Nothing special about it. Nothing about this flower. Okay. You got can. I picked up trash, but out of the trash, so... Am I reverse? Like, picking up trash? Wait, no, it's probably toys. Yeah. Recycle material. Give to recycle machine for five clams. Oh, okay. Recycling machine. Can. Oh, that's fun. There's the baby. The recycling machine dispensed five clams. Thanks for doing your part in keeping the environment clean. That recycling machine just gave me a cool prize recycling some cans. Recycling does pay off. Alright. Oh, you want me to throw something away from my inventory? Um, okay, sure. What's something... Let's throw away a tofu. Trash. Littering is bad, recycling is better. Throw away something. Achievement get? <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Fun, though. A band of space pirates has been camping out here for a long time now. I hear the captain suddenly decided he wasn't going to travel anymore, so half the crew took his ship and left. I littered. I'm locked out of the good ending. Aw, oh, man! Everything I do locks me out of the good ending, apparently. Squawk. Things have been so boring around here ever since Captain Space... I mean, Captain Space Boyfriend took charge of the Space Pirates. Captain Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend... What? I mean, look at what Space Boyfriend's done with the old Captain's ship. 
Captain Pinkbeard would never approve of this. Alright. Ah, the view here is spectacular. Hot children, you are now entering the vicinity of the captain of the space pirates, the master of the solar system, the prince of the universe, the one and only Captain Space. Uh, I mean, uh, you are entering the house of Space Boyfriend. Wow, the captain of the space pirates lives here? That's awesome! I want to be a space pirate too! Yeah, well, so did I, once. Space Boyfriend doesn't do much these days, so most of the space pirates got fed up and left with the main ship. It's just us stragglers here doing all the Space Boyfriend's chores or whatever. Yesterday, me and the guy spent the day cleaning and throwing away all of his trash. Hmm, I didn't leave my old job for this. I ain't no babysitter. Oh, I'm sorry, that sounds awful. Maybe we can talk some sense into him. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Captain Space Boy... I mean, Space Boyfriend's got two sides to him, you see? We should at least try. You never know, he might know something about how to find Basil. Or maybe he knows where to find my pet rock, Hector. Yeah, sure, that too. What are we waiting for? Let's go see him already. Sorry about your job, sir. It'll get better soon, I promise. <sighs> Thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. Give me just a minute to save. You know, actually, I don't need to save. I just realized I haven't really done anything since I last did that. <laughs> Buddy, it sucks that you had to come in a time like this. Captain says, I mean, Space Boyfriend hasn't left his bed since she stopped coming around. Those things are a little tough now, but I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in the captain. All here lately are the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. Am I the only one who kind of enjoys cleaning around here? Space Boyfriend, what, are, what can we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed? I see what this is about. Captain Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend! Wake up! Cowl. Why? <coughs> My precious sweetheart. Aw, he sounds so sad. There must be some way to help him. My sweetheart, where have you run off to now? Oh no, not again. Space Boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here, my guy. Here, my guy. This will cheer you right up. Hmm? Why isn't anything playing? Oh no, the boombox. It's empty. He's never gonna wake up now, or even worse, he's gonna wake up angry. Oh man, oh man, what could that special mixtape be? Someone must have thrown away his special mixtape when we were cleaning. What's the big deal? It's just a cassette, right? Well, you see, whenever Space Boyfriend is away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. The only way to snap him out of it is by playing a special mixtape. There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He's lovesick. <sighs> Space Boyfriend does If Space Boyfriend stays like this, the once great coalition of space pirates will be lost for eternity. Oh, man. That sucks. Well, let's go. 
Wait, where are you going? We should help him out. You should know how that it really sucks to lose something important to you. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy. Huh? I don't remember anything like that. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, my precious, my perfect goddess. <laughs> my sweet, jelly-filled donut. I think he's getting worse. What should we do, Ramori? Should we help him? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Here, take this. You got the junkyard key. The key in this key unlocks the junkyard. The special mixtape should be somewhere in there. You can get there through the secret entrance to Space Boyfriend's backyard. Pretty convenient, eh? A vanity. A bookcase full of knowledge from all across the universe. We've really done it now, dude. I hope the captain won't be too mad when we tell him his favorite planet is missing. You know he gets when he's angry. Buddy, you're not supposed to call him captain anymore. You have to go with Space Boyfriend, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Eric. Ah. You know, dude, sometimes I wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Ever since the sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. We should just quit and get real jobs. Don't talk I don't talk nonsense, buddy. What, a, what is life for us if not the space pirate life? I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day and we'll fly again. We just have to believe in him. <sighs> Thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you. Beat up a wormhole. <laughs> Opens up a wormhole, firing an orange laser at me. Rude. No, I haven't seen a Mori happy yet. Wait, I beat the UFO in one hit? Ah, a Mori's happy. That's cute. You don't need to inflict Happy and Amori multiple times. This is how you get the worst time. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll try that just for the funny at some point. Really doubt that you don't do it, but you know. Okay, it was enough. Cool. I will try it not during this battle, but my good men, I'm looking for some art. Fear not, for I will know when I found it. You found a backpack. Backpack gives two defense. 
I forgot to equip my charm. Oops. Um. You get the bracelet. I guess you get the backpack now. Lovely weather, isn't it? Gee, Otherworld Lake? Otherworld Campsite. Junkyard. Okay. I'm gonna go check out the lake. Hey, a wormhole. Sadness for you. Could double down. Music is really good here. Okay, you can't get more than Manic, I guess. So I guess you can go up three tiers of it. Which at that point... At some point I'll try depressing someone a lot as well. I'll try each of them. Dang. I missed. I like how the confetti looks like it's just like... Oh. Oh, so Amori and certain bosses can get three tiers, otherwise no one else got it. Um, I like how the end fight screen, the confetti that goes up is like in the colors of the different emotions. That's pretty neat. Venus Flytrap. Let's trip a plant, because why not? That's painful. Well, 
sucks to suck. Ninety XP that Kel didn't get. He's always the one who dies. During your hike just now, I noticed a face in indented into a cliff. I wonder what that's all about. I pooped after that rigorous hike. I just know I won't be able to feel my legs tomorrow. A starfruit soda. Well, I guess for now I should go back and heal because Kel is absolutely sitting at 1 HP currently. He's not doing much good if he's a corpse. And also because difficulty is jumping once again. Tentacle. Tentacle is poking out of the ground. Hello, Tentacle. Good to see you again. The UFOs are down there. Ah, stranger. Thank you for all having the time to talk with me. I apologize, but I'm afraid I must butt in with a task I cannot complete with my own capabilities. Quite recently and suddenly, a rogue planet burst across the sky at an alarmingly fast pace. My three dearest friends panicked and flew off in separate directions. My three friends are crows, you see, and are not the most friendly nor welcoming of creatures. I'm a bit worried to ask such an immense favor upon a complete stranger, but there aren't many who pass through these fields. If I may ask, would you be willing to help me find my dear friends? Oh, thank you, stranger. Words cannot express... Cannot begin to express what this means to me. Now I shall wait their return patiently. For as you can see, without them, I am just a stick in the mud. Oh. Face me. Face me. Hi, friends. Pass the hero. There we go, 131 experience, 22 clamps. That's a lot of experience for a single battle. Wild. Orange Mark Door. Shut the fuck up, Robin. <laughs> crow. The crow doesn't want to talk to you. Perhaps if you were someone more charming. The hell does that mean? I need to be someone else? I need to be more charming in some way? You got s'mores. Figure it out eventually. Um... Isn't the sky beautiful? It's nice to know there are so many others out there who share the same view. A mango smoothie. Nice, nice. Shoot. I know I left my donut somewhere around here. You got donut. Shoot. Yeah. Okay. Why did Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. It's always good to have some jokes on hand. If only I had a joke book to write them down in. Okay, so if I travel up here... Face me! A fate, a space benoy! Hero, so he hits everyone. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop killing them. <laughs> 87 experience. Starfruit soda, nice. Uh, Amori learned how to mock people. Because they went to space, they should have known. Welcome to space. 
what were you expecting? It's a dangerous place. Thank you for investing. Go there for your rota. There for your orders. Deals damage if the phone is angry. Greatly reduces its attack. That's good. That is really good and very exploitable. I will absolutely use that. Um, I will actually get rid of my ability to guard for stab. For now. Eventually I'll need to swap it back out, but... There we go. Target this one because it's sad and as such has more defense. Hit one of them right in the heart, apparently. Which must have been the other sad one. <laughs> or that one's strong enough to just kill them now. Nice. The crow doesn't want to talk to you. Perhaps if you were someone more charming. The hell does that mean? Does it mean I need to do something to progress, or...? Oh, I crit it, so it's dead, and all the others will be too. Telgrid level 7. Now we're all level 7. Level 7 buddies. This is a great place to level up. Do I have anything about this? Large frame, trap door, lost pyrus flame, lurking in a dark cell, trapped in a pink cage, hollow framed face. I don't hate that. Uh, far below a big stage, spending time with a frog, near a game roulette, among other O's. In a water closet, small moving room at the end of a plank with a live shell. In a large bubbly tank, surrounded by goo, captured in a steel trap. In the gut of a whale at the end of a map. In a large, in a field of white snow, past the end of the road. Okay. I just saw JJ up there. That was weird. The door is locked. Hey, JJ, let's do this. The shark plane. I'm a headbutt you. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try this out. Mock. Then I'm gonna headbutt ya. Then I'm going to annoy the enemy. And just attack. Ooh, 39 damage. That hurt. I feel angry. And I mock it for 44 damage. That's heavily reducing its attack. Cost me 20, so I can't do it again. All foes target Aubrey for one turn. If Aubrey's attacked, she attacks. Not a good idea. Um, Uh, mock 
Thank you again. Counter. Yes, just a regular attack from you. And a cook on you. Amoria's party was victorious. 360 experience, 30 clams. Alright, well we proved that we can do it and we we'll meet we got tech. I'm very bad at finding bagel. I don't even know what bagel is. I get so distracted, I just forget what bagel is. Uh, so there's a ladder down over there. Oh, hey, but annoying. Robin chimes in just to yell, No! I would never stop killing the Benoit. Can't stop, won't stop. Dude, that's a dead kill. I win! 150 experience. Which puts Cal even further behind on XP. Alright. Uh, hey, do you mind cooking Cal a delicious meal? Thank you for yelling, everyone. This bunny is so angry. I don't know who Bagel is, so I'm just gonna keep on doing this. It's fine. Level 8 through 3 of them, and I learned Charm for Hero. Hero is charming. What does that do? Axe first, a uh, foe target's hero for one turn. Eh, I prefer counter. Veggie Kid, we're on an adventure. We're gonna explore. We're explorers. We're adventurers. So the red one's the one I haven't talked to? No, I talked to everyone. Alright. I don't I don't trust that room. A shiny telescope. Do you wanna check out the view? At some point, I will do the Michael Jackson. For now, though, I'm just looking around. There's a telescope. It's 
it's been a while since I've saved, and if there's one thing I've learned, it's that uh, you fuck around, you will find out. A message in a bottle. I need a need a save. So let's head back to the campsite real quick. <laughs> it was so kite kite kid just like wrecked me, which was fine. Except that the enemies around here are also kind of wrecking me. I'm like, mm, I really need to grind a bit. Shaking my timbers, of course. Eh. Alright. Um, first things first, let's go be Michael Jackson. Shonen! I fucking love this. I can control it. It's great. <laughs> That's why everyone should aspire to be Matt Jackson. All right. What's the password? No password, no entry. Oh yeah. I hit the bunny right in its heart. I am bread. 120 experience, 24 clams. Alright, uh. Cheap. Cattail field, otherworld campsite, frozen lake. I got crit on. Should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Gotta clear their mutant plant population. For you, Kel. Ooh, woo. You want to go fishing with your friends? Hell yeah. Fishing, ooh, woo. Wait. 
what you get, hero. You hooked up an O. <gasps> and then threw it back in the lane. Oh, I know what this is. Let's get the O. I can do it. I can get the O. I can get the O. That's a crab. I I have crabs. Come on, more. You can get the O. That's crabs. Truly is a skill issue. I wanted the O, instead I got the crabs. Maybe there's a different hole I have to fish in? Because I'm just getting crabs over and over again. Oh, yellow snow, someone peed there. Got it. I was trying to figure out what was happening. What the butt was that? Cold soup, but why? A cold lantern. A refrigerator, but why? A cold bed on the floor. A cooler full of ice, but why? A plastic fish mounted on the wall. Hmm, it needs batteries. Trap door, good. Some fishing rods, they look like they're used often. A hole in the ice for convenient fishing. Some fishing rods, they look like they're used quite often. Get. Well, Robin, you've been bamboozled. And I absolutely get it, Krim. Oh! I thought it was just a bunny. I didn't think it was a... Okay. A snow bunny. Okay. Yeah. Combat time. Run, Benoit. It's not happening. It's never escaping. <laughs> It's a corpse. Or a pile of snow, probably. From the looks of it. I love this. Sun Hecos looks around aimlessly as if it's lost. That is the uh, thing I need to uh, fish in. I'm just gonna have to keep on fishing. Really, Mari? Shaved ice in this weather? What's wrong with that, Hero? It's so convenient. Shaved ice is way easier to come by with than snow cones. What's the difference between shaved ice and snow cones, anyway? Realistically, there's not that much of a difference. Snow cones just have larger pieces of ice than shaved ice. Larger pieces, huh? Is that why snow cones are so much more expensive? I don't know, Kel. I really, I can't really answer that one. Does that heal me? It does appear to heal me. A snow cone machine. It looks like it accepts snow cone tickets. I am Josh of many talented masters of many trades. How can I help you today? 5,000. Heals a friend's heart and juice and raise all stats for the battle. Hmm, okay. I am sorry, we are out of syrup. You're selling me chunks of ice, you asshole. 
<laughs> oh, you're such a fucking piece of shit. Alright, who can get me the O? Mmm, crabs. You hooked up a vending machine. A vending machine. Buy tasty soda for Yeah, sure, you've convinced me. A cold tasty soda popped up from the vending machine. That was fucking funny. <laughs> I don't even know where it went. Hey, I found it again. <laughs> no, I'm good. I guess I'm throwing it back in. That seems like littering. I feel like I shouldn't do this. You hooked up an octopus and then threw it back in the lake. Why is the hole shy? Oh, uh, a plastic fish, and then threw it back in the lake. That's that's absolutely littering. Yeah, it's oo woo, and once I get the o, it'll be oh wall. Or is it better? That'd be funny. That'd be really funny. That hooked up nuclear waste and then th do not throw that back in the Amori! Guys! UFO. Oh, an orange, and threw it back in the line. Why am I throwing most of these things back? They should be either in the trash or decomposing. You know, whatever. Composting, decomposing, either one. They were able to hook it and, you know, fish it out. They can at least leave it sitting there for somebody else to come deal with. Go set it on the pee spot, that way no one goes over there and drinks it. You hooked up real fish, and then threw it back in the lake. You remember when I got an O and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll keep going until I get it? I didn't mean to press A again. Tofu. Neat. You hooked up a real fish. I'm doing this wrong. 
An enemy yoked up a sprout mole and then threw it back in the lake. Oof. I guess it's not technically an enemy unless it's a lost one. And it wasn't lost. I'm gonna keep going until Amori has the fishing rod again. You're right, I should push the bear in the hole. Just waiting for the next big catch. I was attacked. They shut out perish. The world's tiniest snowstorm, that's cute. They really hate Hero. There's no running. They attack me, they shall perish. A boot. Don't throw it back in the lake, you- ah! I have no idea if I'm, like, this is actually how you're supposed to get it. It says around the other O's, so I was figuring it was that because I got an O immediately there. But, I don't know, man. Hey, Mori, isn't this place pretty? The snow comes down so slowly, but all the pieces seem to fall right into place in the end. It reminds me to be patient. Hey, I know. We should go ice skating one day. Doesn't this sound fun, Omori? Yeah. Alright. Alright, YouTube. We're actually going to stop there. Next time on Let's Play Omori, we'll be moving on. I'll be heading into the junkyard, and we'll try to make some progress. I'll see you all next time. Hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.